today's plan is to head um, towards the coast to uh, a place called um, uh, fuck me and names Esuara. Esu I tend to get myself into these weird places. I have no idea where I am. But I gotta fill up gas. But uh, the gas station is over there. How do I get there? I, I thought I could ride through here, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Or maybe I can. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> okay, this does not look like a road, but okay, let's have a look. <laughs> if I can cross the road under it. Uh, <laughs> Get all this trash. <laughs> uh, well. Well, how the hell do I get to the gas station? Why is it f walled off? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, no bird. How do I get to the damn gas station? Oh, it's uh, four to six minutes to get to, uh, get to it. It says. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, I have to find another way because this doesn't work. <laughs> Difficult to find a uh, find gas. Why can't I just go up here? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Well, is this someone's house? Did someone live there? Huh. Oh, can't get to that one. Must be someone from the other gas station soon then. That's something I've noticed. Uh, it's smart to fill up quite a lot uh, sooner than you when you actually need to, because there are half the gas stations almost don't don't exist, or they're out of gas. So, make sure I don't run out of gas. It's better to fill up before you absolutely need to. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but... No. Usually they want you to let them do it for some reason. Still had about four liters left. Alright, now let's get back on the road. I wonder how often it rains here in winter. Thank you. It's interesting to see the different landscapes. Huh. Where the hell am I ending up now? Down in a gorge of some sort. What the hell happened here? This must be a, like a flash flood uh, area. Don't 
I hope no rocks fall on me down here. Must be if it rains up in the mountains heavily, then uh, they sometimes get flash floods here. Ah, oh, up there is the highway. This road is much more fun. Wow. Look at this view. This is amazing. Wow. Wow, I love this. It's interesting to see the olive trees here because in Spain they uh, they uh, seem to cut them down and, and plant new ones uh, all quite often. But here they grow to be very big. Wow. Look at this. Donkey. Oh, there's actually a store here. Here. What the hell? It's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Where am I going now? I hope this road leads somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. This landscape is just stunning amazing wow I love this now ah, what time is it it's almost 12 o'clock now and I'm now temperature is really starting to climb. It's 36 degrees and uh, that cool, li little bit of cool air from this morning is completely gone. <laughs> but nothing to do about that. It is, I, I am kind of getting used to it now. It doesn't bother me as much as it did in the first few days, but it is still really, really uncomfortable. What oh. the hell? <laughs> Down here? Oh, okay. Where am I ending up now? Can I get out here? Or what? <laughs> I hope this leads somewhere. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I'm going now. I tend to get myself into these weird places. I have no idea <laughs> where I am. But this is fun though. 
fun exploring like this. Uh, camel shit. So. These guys probably wonder what the hell is that guy doing here? That's right, these people drive cars in here. How the hell do they do that? They not shake their cars to pieces. Unless they have like big off-road vehicles, but they don't have that. Oh wow, this is steep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is steep too. <laughs> How? Where am I now? There's a mosque. <laughs> Oh, yes. They have mosques all over this country, so... Why not here, too? I hope I can get out of here. Is this the road? Really? Whoa, don't fall here. They're driving regular cars in there, so it's got to be a way out. Uh, uh, not there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Have to go in the riverbed here, or what? Yeah. No? No, continue straight right to the map. Uh, ah, here. <laughs> wow. Okay, I think this is the road out. <laughs> okay. Cool! That was fun! <laughs> yeah, there it is. Now back, back on a normal road. <laughs> that was a fun little excursion, courtesy of uh, the adventure mode on the Garmin. <laughs> oh, goats in the town. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Hi there, goats. How are you guys doing? And the sheep. I'm starting to climb again. Huh. I'm actually at 1,130 meters. I'm going down to the sea. What a view though. <laughs> <laughs>
This is insane. The spectacular view. Wow. Okay, I, I can't be behind it. I can't see anything. I can't breathe. Please let me pass. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. Now it's starting to get really hot again. It's 40 degrees now. 39, 40 degrees. I really hope it's a bit cooler down by the sea. Wow! Have a look at this! This is amazing! What a view! Ho ho ho! Wow! Look at this! Ooh, I love this! Wow! What a view! This is incredible! <laughs> uh, my fingers are, my, are black from the plastic or from the rubber, the handlebars, and then sticky. The rubber is melting in the sun. I know I should have worn gloves, but I can't. In this heat, it's just too much. If I go off road, I, uh, I uh, try to wear them. But wow, Morocco is a really beautiful country. When you get to ride around it like this, it's like yeah, it's very dry and, and very warm everywhere. But the landscapes are constantly changing from mountains to forests to deserts to beaches. Really amazing. I really, really enjoy riding here. Oh, it's a little uh, oasis or something. Uh, probably a water reservoir. Looks like a little lake. I really want to swim now. Ah, uh, it's 41 degrees. I need to get something to drink now, because I'm, uh, something cold, preferably. I'm almost out of water. My camelback. There must be a store here. Yeah, here. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Perfect. Yeah. How much? Yes. Hmm? All right. Now I have a little bit of water at least. <sighs> Hopefully I'll make it the rest of the way. Hi. <laughs> now let's get out of here. It's boiling in this heat of the traffic for the all the cooking and the cars and everything. It's okay when I get the wind, but as soon as I stop, I, uh, I'm dead. Oh. oh, it smells terrible here. Oh, it smells like burning rubber. Oh. Like I feel, I feel I have some energy when I'm sitting on the bike like this. As soon as I stop and walk off the bike, I lose all energy. What are they burning here? It's a trash fire. Burning plastic. That's not good. Oh, now I can smell the sea air and it's already cooler. Now it's 35 degrees. Oh. That is so nice. Oh. 
Here we are. Welcome to Esawira and the Atlantic Ocean. Wow. That's amazing. I made it to the coast. And here it is so much cooler. Now it is 28 degrees here. It actually kind of feels cold. 28 degrees feels cold. <laughs> That's probably because I'm soaked in sweat. But uh, now I have to find a place I can sleep and a place uh, where Moon Inn can be uh, safe for the night. I don't know where to go, but we'll see if we find something. So this must be the bus station. The grilling fish. It smells like fish too. Oh. <laughs> this looks like a prison. Lots of fruit and vegetables. Oh wow! This must be uh, the center, the old town, the Medina. Cool. I gotta check that out. But uh, after I find a place to stay. And in there I can't drive, so I'm... Uh, I'm not going to stay in there. Alright, so let me... I haven't seen any hotels or anything. You booked with us? No. It's only booked, but we have an option. Yeah? You can stay on, we have uh, three availabilities on the beds, watching Thousand Star tonight. Uh, it's not in the room, it's on the roof. Yeah. With a big, large bed. Do you have a place? We can store uh, everything. We have a place for the scooter here. And we have security cameras. We have. Uh, we are 24 hours here, so everything will be perfect and safe. Except if you like to stay on the couch with triple blankets on the rooftop, or you can stay on the couches downstairs. You want to take a look? You can take a look. Uh, Only option. Other option, we don't have beds. Beds are all full. Right. I. Um I'm mostly worried about my stuff and my bike. Your, stuff, your bike absolutely will be safe. The only thing you uh, you, you can... Uh, if you accept to stay on the couch or if you want to stay on the rooftop. The stuff, the bike, everything is a thousand million percent. Well, they will be safe. How much is it for one of them? Come take a look first. Your stuff can be in the reception. I can put my stuff in the reception? Yes, we can leave it in the reception or we can leave it here. It's facing the camera and it's always we are around. We have a huge group from the Netherlands. Yeah. It's full. It's full. Oh, yeah. But it's a peace. Everybody's nice. We don't have oh, that's cool. like, any headache. Or... <laughs> you can also leave your stuff here. You can leave your stuff here. Oh, uh, Shaib. Shaib is going to show you the rooftop. Okay. Yeah. The stuff. Oh. Am I going to stay here tonight? That's beautiful. And the old Iron Man. Yes, I told you this. <laughs> beautiful. Oh. oh, this is going to be an interesting night. This is a very noisy place. I hope I get to sleep a little bit at least. I was thinking of staying in this town for two days, but I think I'm just going to stay here for one night and move on tomorrow because this is... Uh, uh, this is not what I, what I uh, wanted right now. But it is what it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up and click subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see 
what I end up doing next. Uh, I'm headed along the coast uh, north, I think. I'm not exactly sure where uh, to, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. If I, if I find something interesting to do or to see or anything. But now I'm, uh, I'm getting close to my end, the end of my, my stay here in Morocco. So I'm, I'm headed towards um, Tarifa, or oh, Tangier, Tangier, again, to take the boat over to Tarifa. Not sure exactly how many days um, it will take me, but uh, we'll figure it out. I hope Munin is safe here. There's a camera there, and then the, the people are um, awake in the reception, watching things. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried about my stuff, but they're putting it behind the reception. So hopefully it'll, uh, it'll be safe. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Things are not always perfect, but I think uh, now I'm just gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk around town and then uh, it's night and I'll go to bed. So see you in the next episode. Peace.